all about making engineering fun with Mauser. This is Marcelli Bear. He's the director of the Robotics Institute here at Carnegie Mellon University. And you guys have been on the cutting edge of innovation since when? 1978 is when the uh, institute was created. Wow. Now, Qu quite how long have you been here? I have been here about 30 years. <laughs> and in fact, I've been here about as long as this robot. Okay, mm -hmm. so what's this one? Uh, this one is uh, called the Terrigator. It's a robot that was designed for autonomous driving outdoors. So, in fact, this is one of the very, very first attempts at uh, autonomous driving outdoors. Now, yeah. of course, it doesn't look like a car or anything. This was 1984, but this was one of the first items that we had uh, here at CNU. There were several DARPA challenges. This yeah. one is for the urban challenge, which involved driving on roads in traffic yeah. with other cars and, and so forth. Okay. Yeah, this one did really well. This one won yes. the competition, yes. if I remember correctly. Yes. Yes, and in fact it inspired a lot of the work that is now going on on self-driving car. This has LiDAR. It has a radar, it has several types of, of cameras. 30 years ago on the Terrigator, some of those sensors existed, yeah. except they were not nearly as good, right. they were not nearly as affordable or small and low power and so forth. Yeah. Not only that, the processing power available then versus now, Excellent. this does all the processing in real time on this vehicle. Absolutely. Yeah. What that enables us to do used to not be possible to do very complex processing of the visual data. One of the yeah. things that is necessary for this is that the vehicle, the robot, has to be able to see right. and be able to think. Right. It's not just a matter of making decisions and driving it's the motors. It's going right? to waypoints. It has right. to decide, is there an obstacle in there? Exactly. And it has to do this very fast. Think how fast you have to do it in real life uh, driving. I've, I've seen this thing drive. Yeah. And it's not like, it doesn't poke long. Mm. It drives a very yeah. aggressively. Yes. Kind of like an LA driver. <laughs> This is designed for exploration, for example, uh, exploration of desert environment, mm -hmm. uh, and perhaps as a prototype for uh, planetary exploration. Sure. And its uh, objective is to do science. In other words, take measurements, discover perhaps new minerals, soil samples, uh, soil samples and, and so forth. Uh, and the idea, of course, is to be able to do exploration for a very long time, and be yes. able to navigate itself without human uh, intervention, yeah. uh, perhaps be able to identify areas that are interesting from a scientific standpoint yeah. and be able to re-explore them, that sort of thing. And so it's able to do this for a long time mm. and that's why you have the solar panels. Yes. This is uh, something called Icebreaker and this is a robot, as you can see, this is a mean looking robot. <laughs> yes. And this is uh, designed to drive on a very steep slope. Again, this is in the spirit of exploration robot. Yeah. So exploring volcanoes, for example, where you have extremely steep slope uh, yeah. with sand and things that it's are very got, hard to drive. Got a, it's got big tracks, but a low center of gravity, right. and the a thing, lot of surface area for exactly. your And the thing it has in the middle, you see this pole here, yeah. is something that can be actuated and descended into the ground oh, in right. desperation, basically. Uh, so that you can, for example, turn in place on an extremely steep slope. Oh, yeah, okay. so you can like anchor right. yourself and yeah. then turn. So we're looking at a robot that is designed to uh, go on the moon okay. and do some exploration. This is part of the Lunar X project where uh, a robot is supposed to land on the moon and explore for about 500 meters. So of course this is a particularly challenging project. The uh, remote aspects of the environment are particularly difficult. Right. 